Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another Daily Dice where we ask the dice a question. Today we're going to do in love and find out what that is. Why? Because the loved ones are awesome and you know, y'all know I'm too obsessed with these yin yang oracle cards. They're so much fun. I love them. I didn't realize I was going to love them so much, but I do. So keeping in mind these are general readings, please take what resonates and leave what does not. Knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing, it does allow me an opportunity to connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, you will find all the links necessary in the description box down below, or you can email me for a personal reading. Keep in mind there are a few spots open. Or a finite amount of spots open each week. They do fill up rather quickly. However, if you send me an email, I'll let you know how many spots are available as well as further information. And make sure you do follow me on over to my podcast at Scatter Love Radio. It's a nice chill hangout session where I talk about anything and everything. And I'm truly open and transparent about my own journey and what I've experienced throughout this crazy thing we call the spiritual ascension process. So, awesome. I hope to see you there. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the reading and find out what is today's Daily Dice and Love Source. What messages do you have for us in the Daily Dice for Love? Would you like to tell us in regards to Love Source? What's this Daily Dice in regards to Love? So we have 8th House, Aquarius Energy, and Neptune. Ooh, someone's trying to hide. They're trying to hide how they feel. So y'all might have a friends group connection. Like, you might have the same friends, right? Like, and they're just trying to be discreet. They're not trying to be sneaky. I mean, you can take it as sneaky, but that's not really the energy that I'm getting here. I do feel like they're just trying to be discreet about how they feel because it's a little overwhelming and it's something that they're not sure how to approach you with. They're not sure how to even vocalize it to themselves here right? But they do try to stay friendly with you. They do try to stay, um, why do I hear apropos? I don't know if that actually fits in this, but that's what I'm hearing right now, apropos. <laughs> so yeah, if y'all know what that means, let me know in the description box. I'll definitely check it out after the reading, but yeah, that's what I heard, apropos. Uh, yeah, they're trying to stay cordial with you, right? They're trying to stay really like even- like, I don't want to mess up this friendship. I don't want to mess up what we have together. But I am super, super attracted to the collective. I am super, super attracted to you. And that's, you know, like, they they have a lot of, they got a lot of stuff going on inside. Very much. A lot of stuff going on inside. And so they do fantasize about you in a lot of different ways. A lot of sexual ways. A lot of, um... Yeah, just like behind the sh behind closed doors kind of ways, but they also fantasize about what it would be like to be with you. And I feel like the thing is right here is that they've spent so much time fantasizing about you that they have created this idealized version of you that actually is nothing like who you are. And so they're kind of like, how do I approach the collective and tell them 333 on the clock how do i approach them and tell them like what am i supposed to tell them like how do i even say hello and you may be the one that kind of always instigates conversations with them because you've noticed that they've kind of become shy or drawn away and you're wondering what's going on and it's like you don't want them to to stop talking to you because i feel like you both enjoy talking to each other but i do feel like they're just so they've been fantasizing about you so much that they just they don't know how to approach you here they don't know how to approach you and so they're trying to keep while trying to keep themselves in the dark because they don't want to be honest with themselves they're they're also keeping you in the dark about it feelings are kind of a weird thing that the whole world has a problem with yeah they're dealing with i don't feel like they're very much in this pride or vanity energy i do feel like they are dealing with the emotional ego though when we talk about emotions, you know, and not being able to come forward, we're definitely talking about our emotional ego not allowing us to come forward, right? So I do feel like they've definitely painted this picture of you that doesn't exist, though, through that. We have divine, or we have the divine feminine coming out here. Yeah, they see you as a divine feminine, and they do want some sort of new beginning with you, a rebirth. 
but it's like right now they're in this this silence like you know whenever we look at the winter time it's when the whole world goes into darkness so that it can be reborn finding a new and so they're not saying anything right now they're not telling you anything right now because there's just a lot going on with them that they're dealing with they're definitely healing how to approach you right this is that vanity and pride energy this is them painting a picture of you that doesn't exist that they have to realize doesn't exist and because of that it's like kind of like coming into this center this this middle ground like how do i come through so let's see what else comes out let's get a couple more here source can we please get a few more of these out on the table yeah present abundant gratitude learning how to be grateful for where you're at self-worth and expectations flying out so that's a thing here like you're in a place of knowing your worth i feel like this one wants to come over here first and they're not they're not realizing their own worth right and so right now you're in a very abundant place and that just aids onto this divine feminine energy it's overpowering it's 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 a beautiful energy but it's just when you're not in a place of balance yourself that's a very overpowering energy it's very intimidating right and you can have intimidation with the eighth house they're very intimidated by you so and then we have yeah pluto transformation again with the winner energy here yeah they definitely want to transform this for the better they want to ground it into this physical reality with the earth energy here taurus virgo capricorn may be synchronistic for you they're just having a time right now they don't know how to do it you know they're afraid they're going to be rejected they're afraid they're going to lose you like they don't want to lose you as a friend in their life they don't want to lose you as as the connection that they have it's almost like they'd be willing to sacrifice a love connection with you if that meant that they could stay connected to you let's get a couple more oracles here all right don't usually get this many oracles but you know hey yeah house 10 structure discipline life mission accomplishments and career so that's another reason it's intimidating to approach you is because you're very centered on what it is that you want from life you know where you're going or you look like you have it all figured out and that's intimidating to someone who has no idea where to even start right like and you're probably like i don't have it figured out i'm just following my intuition well <laughs> following your intuition is a very rebellious act in a world that tells us not to even listen to our intuition and so that may already give away that you're you know what things are where things are going right we have think learn network and communicate on the bottom with mercury there is going to be something that happens where they do come and communicate with you because they like your energy they really like how outgoing you are how optimistic you are how free you are perspective yeah, they just have to change their perspective on this. They're not seeing it clearly, right? They're seeing, again, they're, that, and that makes so much sense is what I was saying. It's like they're seeing you on a pedestal, this idealized version of you. And it's like, whereas that might sound really cool and, oh my gosh, like, yeah, I deserve to be on a pedestal. But at the same time, when the, people put you on a pedestal and you don't meet their expectations then things come crashing down, it's not good. They need to see you as exactly who you are and that's that's the thing here and the only way for them to ever do that is to open up those lines of communication we had mercury on the bottom here and to open up to the idea that you're actually a person just like they are right you're a human being just like they are but sometimes that's difficult when we like somebody or when we are infatuated or in are beginning to fall in love with somebody we see them as much more than we are and that puts us in a very questionable place where we're we're not able to be honest about the whole situation at hand right so overall i do feel like there's a transformation coming in this connection and they're just saying to continue on with you being in your self-worth you understanding who you are and being grat grateful for where you're at because that's going to help alleviate these expectations with this connection it's not your job to do that but it's just you staying so centered in who you are is going to help shed a light on their illusions of who you are because the more they spend time with you the more they interact with you it is going to alternate their perspective and it's going to be more i really like them for who they are not who i thought they were okay awesome so this is what i have for you if this is your reading 
leave a asteroid <laughs> in the comments and say, I shine my divine light. And leave me a thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. But I want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this beautiful message. And until next time, y'all, stay human. Bye.